So today I want to talk about a trip that I took over three months ago to the Florida Keys. And this was a trip that I took two months after Hurricane Irma hit the Florida Keys. To give a little bit of context around what happened to the Florida Keys, back in September the Keys were hit by Hurricane Irma, which was a level 4 or level 5 hurricane. And when that happened, it really devastated the Keys and the people that lived there. So much so that that's all we really heard on the news going up to our trip. And, and we did actually think about whether we were going to go or not because we didn't know if our place was even still standing. We eventually decided to go because we thought that us being there, us spending money, us going out to eat, us doing things, would hopefully in some small way help people get back on their feet. And so after waking up at an ungodly hour to save a couple hundred dollars on flights, I arrived in Florida. It literally took planes, trains, and automobiles for me to get there. So I waited at the airport for my family to get there. And by the time they got there and we left Miami, it was getting dark. So when we were getting into the Keys, we really couldn't see much but the road. One thing that I remember very distinctly was a smell as we were driving into the Keys. And of course we were blaming it on one another, but we soon realized that it wasn't any of us. It was actually the debris on the side of the road. It was people's belongings that were literally rotting on the sides of the streets. And when we got to our place, one of the things that my dad said to me was that he was really scared about seeing what the Florida Keys were going to be like you know, the next day when the sun came up. And he had actually been to the Florida Keys the year before, so he remembers it as this sort of tropical paradise, and he was worried about what it would be like after the hurricane hit. And so that next morning what we did is we all got up and got in the car and just started driving. And as we were driving, we were just passing piles of debris and piles of people's belongings that had just been torn apart by this hurricane. And it was really demoralizing because it showed how frail life can be that there are these people that have lived here for their whole lives and you know this is what has made them happy and it just got taken away in a matter of days by a hurricane. But that isn't eventually what I took away from this trip and what I took away from the Florida Keys. In fact, it's the exact opposite. It's that life is resilient. Even though it's frail, it's strong and powerful and passionate. And that's something that I learned from all the people in the Florida Keys, whether it was a waiter, the person at you know the grocery store checkout, or the snorkeling instructor that we have. And one thing that they all said was just their passion for the Keys that, you know, they weren't going anywhere that they wanted to stay and they wanted to help rebuild this place and those are the things that I will remember more than the debris on the side of the road and those are the things that I hope people will see and remember about the Keys. And one thing that I really can't say enough is that it was a great vacation and that, that vacation and that experience was a product of one, my family being great and I want to offer as this trip was a Thanksgiving trip a big thank you to my family but also I want an even bigger thank you to go out to the people of the Florida Keys because even in their darkest hour even in their biggest time of need they were still able to offer hospitality to me and my family and give us a great experience and even though there was so much visible destruction in the Florida Keys even two months after the hurricane I can't stress enough that the overwhelming majority of what I saw was beauty, both natural and human. Those are the things that I want to take away from this trip and those are the things that I want people to know about the Florida Keys even after this hurricane.
This trip is one that I'll remember not just for its comfort, but also for the lessons that it taught me. And that's really what I want not only this video to communicate, but also this channel at large. That even if something isn't perfect, even if something has had problems or strife or challenge, that there's still a lot of beauty and a lot of love and a lot of passion to be found in those instances. My stories may not always be fairy tales and you know the story of the Florida Keys is not a fairy tale either but one of the things that I really believe passionately is that there's always a story behind the story that you know people will, will be talking about the Keys because of the hurricane but I also want to add another story. I want to add a subtext to that that the Florida Keys is not defined by this hurricane. That is, that it was defined by the people there and the resiliency even among the hurricane.